Hello everyone. Welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to learn about fur fabric with the help of this dress and see what each and every one of its options does. I will also link the fur preset file that you can see in this purple dress in the description. You will help me a lot if you subscribe to my channel and like this video. So let's go. Add a test fabric and assign it to your patterns. Put the type of the fabric on fur and let's begin. We have a bunch of fur presets that you can try and use. I never personally use them, but I do get help from them to create a custom fur preset. A lot of times, winky face. Put it back on default. I changed the color of the fabric so you can see more clearly what is happening. Let's start with fur parameters. First is melanin. Melanin configures the saturation of the fur color. The higher you go with the value, the more saturated color you're gonna have. Value 1 is almost black, smiley face. Second is pheomelanin. If the value of melanin is on zero, no matter how much you change the pheomelanin nothing's gonna happen. But when melanin is not on zero the higher you go with pheomelanin, redder the fur is gonna be. So if you want that really natural red color of a fur, go higher with both melanin and pheomelanin. I reset the value of the parameters after changing them, so we can move on to next ones. Now the glossiness. Higher you go with the value, shinier the fur is going to be when the light hits it. Look where the mouse is pointing, that is where the light is hitting the fur. Glossiness boost is like a finishing coat that adds more shininess to the whole fur, higher the value, shinier the effect. Softness Higher you go with the value, softer and smoother, the fur is going to look. When you turn fur gradation color on, you can select two colors for the mid and tip of the fur, you can change their position as well. If the interpolation box is on, these colors will blend more naturally. Done with the fur parameters, smiley face, let's go for fur shape. Length configures the length of the fur, you can see the difference between a fur with a length of 5 and 20 clearly in the render window. Thickness adjusts the thickness of a single thread of fur, here I showed you the difference between value 0.2 and 1, but you can go as high as 10 with thickness value. Bend. Higher the value, more effective the gravity is going to be, and fur will bend more. You can go as high as 10 with bend value as well. Taper. When taper is set to 1, a thread of fur will be thinner towards the end of it. So it's thicker at the root and thinner at the end, but if it's set to 0, it's gonna have the same thickness from the root to the end of it. I changed the value of the bend so you can see what taper does more clearly. For a more natural fur, we go higher with this value. Next one is density. Basically higher the value is, more dense the fur is. Segment means the segments of a single thread of fur. Higher the value is, smoother the fur shape is going to be, but also it's going to be heavier on your CPU or GPU so keep that in mind, smiley face. To understand base maps better, I made a texture that has white, black and gray color. These can be a little complicated so stay with me, smiley face. When you add these maps for the length, the thickness, or the density you need to turn the interactive render off and then back on so you can see its effect. 
I added the base map to our fabric's texture just so you can see where the black parts, the white parts and the gray parts are. If you want you can also change its transformation. Just check to see if the base map's transformation and texture's transformation matches. Now that you saw the color's position I remove the texture and turn the interactive render back on. The length has the base map now. If you look closely, you can see the part that had black color looks empty, the part that had gray is shorter, and the white part is the longest. To make it simpler, when you have a black texture, it is like value 0 is being multiplied to the length, and when you have a white texture, it's like value 1 is being multiplied to the length. Same goes for the thickness or the density. So apply base maps to express different length, thickness and density. Let's get into gravity. First one is force which is the force of our gravity. If you lower the strength the fur will be less bendy. Now, vector x, vector y, vector z, these options represent the directions which gravity is pulling the fur towards. When I change the length of the fur, you can see the effect better. Now, let's talk about curls. First one is radius, which configures the size of the curl, higher the value, larger the curl is but it's not going to have any effects when the number value is set to zero. Number is the number of curls. If you want all of your fur threads to be curly, go higher with this value, smiley face. You can't go higher than 10 centimeters for curl size, and you can't go higher than 180 for curls number. These two options are actually really useful and will help with the fur looking natural. Now variance. In reality when you have fur, not every single thread has the same length, thickness, bending direction, or the gravity effect. That's when variance comes in, so we can have some irregularity. The higher you go with each value, more irregularity you'll have. For example, if you give the length variance a value of 1 it means our fur threads will have different lengths from 0 to 5 cm. 5 cm is the length you already chose in the base. I changed our fur length to 15, so you can see the difference better. Or if you want some of your fur threads to be thinner, you can change thickness variance value. Same goes for direction and gravity and curl radius. Just keep in mind gravity value can only be applied when the bending value is not zero. If you don't want too much irregularity, go lower with these values. All right. Now that we've learned the fur presets, let's take a look at our original fur and see what I have changed in this fabric. I didn't change any of the fur parameters except softness and glossiness boost. I gave softness a value of 1, so our fur appears really soft. I also don't like the shiny coat glossiness boost adds to the fur, so I gave that a value of 0, so we don't have any of that. I added two purple shades for fur gradation color and checked the interpolation box. In the base part 1, changed the value of everything. I made the fur longer and thicker and a little less bendy. Changed the value of taper to 0 0.9 so it is a bit thicker at the end of the fur thread. Lowered the density so it's not too dense and changed the value of segments to 15 so the fur threads appear smoother and more natural. I did not add any base maps. 
I didn't want too many curls or big sized curls, so I gave the number a value of 1 and the curl size also a value of 1. The variance is really important here. I don't want all the fur threads to have the same length or thickness, so I go higher with these values. I also gave the direction and curl radius a small value, just so we have a little bit of irregularity. You can save this preset from here, then open and use it in any other projects you want. Thank you for watching. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel.